It was a cold start to day two of Rally of the Heartland, and Brett was busy working on the car. Bruce Garland once said that um, he reckons I never get out my credit card. There was a breakfast put on and it was organised by the local borough school and they'd put on quite a spread. With all the problems from the previous day, we were really looking forward to a trouble-free day, but there was still a bit of an issue inside the car. My seatbelts got shorter overnight. It was a welcome relief to see the car finally heading out to do some competitive stages. It's a pretty place, the South Australian countryside. From the wind farms on the top of the hills through to the historic buildings, it really is a special place and it was fantastic weather. Even though we've had all these dramas and there's no way that we can finish in any decent position, doesn't mean the boys can't have a real hard go. service the car had another problem the starter motor had failed but we decided it was all too hard to fix it and it's not really needed so we've uh, we've done the short little spectator stage here in town out of Barrett that was good fun and um, we've done the uh, two stages including the wind farm stage the first stage was really really fast and we finished the last two or three kilometers down the side of the highway it would have been good passing all the uh, cars doing the speed limit and we were doing like 160, 170 k's. And then we did the wind farm stage again, so we had a real go at that and um, took some time off um, Stewie in the uh, V8 Merc, which is always a bit of a challenge, but that stage really suits a Honda. Out the front is uh, Mel Keo in the uh, Audi, he's doing really well. But Nick Box in his uh, Sylvia had a real go on that stage and took about five or ten seconds off uh, Mel, but I think Mel's taken it easy because he's got a really good position on the uh, outright for the event. So it's, it's good fun and beautiful weather to be here in South Australia. The next two stages are epic. Two runs over a 69 kilometre stage. That's right, 69 kilometres. We're in Hallett and we've just done the uh, the 70k stage, which was absolutely fantastic. So, like some places just absolutely tapped out in fifth gear, backing off the accelerator, so I don't rev it past eight and a half grand because just have a bit of mechanical sympathy on the car. Some places just ridiculously committed and come over corners and drop the back of the car off the edge of the road a little bit, going a little bit too quick. Other places, the gravel is so deep, it's like just absolutely power sapping. But at the end of the day, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'd encourage anybody to come over and have a run of this road. It's just the countryside, the uh, locals, the organising team, and um, yeah, I think this is going to be a really successful event for the future. So we're running too much pressure because it's torn the centre out of the tyre. On that, ow, on that uh, 70k stage, it's got too hot. So you can see I haven't even worn the outer edge. And this off the front of the car, it's just stripped the centre out. All right, did the job. With the starter motor still not fixed, we had to push start the car. But for now, it's back out to the second pass over the 69 kilometre stage. Let's hope everything goes well. So that's 2018 AGL Rally Heartland done and dusted. And I say thanks to Ivar and the hard working team. The officials out there did an amazing job. There were a lot of them. And as a director myself, I want to say thank you very much on behalf of all the competitors who come and enjoyed this event from both in South Australia and all around Australia, from as far north as Queensland and as far west as Perth. But from our point of view, it was a fantastic um, Adventure, we've still got to get home yet, so we've got a 15-hour trip back tomorrow to Sydney and get to work on Tuesday. Big day, but today was huge. We did one rally, effectively, per day. We missed out on a lot of uh, fun stages yesterday, but we still managed to do some uh, competitive runs on the wind farm today, so thanks to AGL for allowing us to use that fantastic stage. And then today, those two 70K stages, which I missed out on one of them last night, but wow. The second run through was... Uh, even better because there was just so much grip and so many people out there watching the cars, the farmers, thanks for letting us use your roads and all the competitors of my hard working team, John behind the camera, my son Oscar, Van and Steve Kennedy. 
and of course my best mate Andrew Benefield who sat beside me. I, I, I actually don't think I scared him at all. Um, so maybe I wasn't trying hard enough, but uh, hey, we'll be definitely back next year. Uh, and uh, we'll look forward to the rest of the season in New South Wales. Bye for now.